Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. This episode goes out to the Short Kings. What uh, relaxing music in this level. Do, 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 do. Get punched in the head by Kazuya. Yeah. Let's go! That's another great move. You can charge that. And uh, if you're fighting somebody that is good at this game, it's probably not that hard to dodge. But the computers seem to have a tough time with that one. And this is a great level, too. It shows off a really unique, fun thing about Tekken 4, is you can, you can pound your opponents up against the wall and different objects. See how the glass shatter? Especially on this level, you want to talk about height differences. But as a casual, as a filthy, dirty casual, I love the real world uh, aspect of the environments. Yeah! He thought he'd snipe me out of the air with that little that little toe poke there. Uh-uh. Toes. As powerful as showing toes is, it is not as powerful as King's charge jumping hammer fist. Game Sharks, welcome to Tyrock 2000's Let's Cheat. Today I'm using cheats to give myself an unfair advantage at Tekken 4's ultra hard difficulty. You see, I love playing as King, and I love how smart and aggressive the computer is on ultra hard difficulty. But I'm just not good enough to beat that difficulty, but that's where the codebreaker comes in. I'm going to give myself a 50% handicap, and I will win. So sit back and relax as I trash talk my way to the top of the King of Iron Fist in my favorite Tekken. Let's cheat. Ultra hard difficulty. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist tournament. This episode goes out to the Short Kings. seek revenge against the man responsible for his mentor's death. The murderer was serving time in an Arizona state penitentiary. With the money he earned from professional wrestling tournaments, King arranged for the murderer's release. King then sent him a plane ticket and an article about the King of Iron Fist tournament for That's a big convict. That sombrero costume for King is so cool looking. I wish that was actually in the game. Here we go, Kazuya. What a way to start. What uh, relaxing music in this level. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight Kazuya. Get punched in the head by Kazuya. Punch in the head by Kazuya. Oh. Okay, guys. Oh. Oh. That was intense. You win. Round. Kasuya's scars are so cool looking. What did he get? He get he got tossed in the volcano by Heihachi, I think, with this series' this crazy lore. I think that's what happened. That that low kick with King, the, the seemingly never-ending low kick, is such a great move. Like, look at that. One, two, three. Somehow I, I got him to do more last time. I'm not sure how. That's a great one, too, when you dodge and do that uppercut move. That comes out pretty fast. Final round. Fight. Like that. And it does good damage for being a dodging strike. Mm. Let's finish him with a jumping attack with some flare. He'll never know what hit him. Let's go! That's another great move. You can charge that, and uh, if you're fighting somebody that is good at this game, it's probably not that hard to dodge, but the computers seem to have a tough time with that one. Jimmy. 
Oh, another great song. Fight. Yeah, so this this song for this level is called Bit Crusher, and it is just oh, what a cool song. And this is a great level too. It shows off a really unique, fun thing about Tekken Four is you can you can pound your opponents up against the wall and different objects. See how the glass shattered, and you do lots of extra damage. They this is the only Tekken out of the ones that I've played, which is one through six that has really had that as a main component of the combat, and that's one of the many reasons why I love Tekken 4 and why it is my favorite. That and these these environments, they're like real world style, you know, there's like, we're like fighting somewhere in Japan, like some shopping district in Japan, and, you know, there's the, the stores behind us, the phone booths, and the... There's like subtle height differences if you walk up on the curb, and it all factors into the gameplay, and I just, I love it. I think it's terrific. If I was a competitive player, I would assume that would be very, very annoying. All of the random factors that play into that, especially on this level, you want to talk about height differences. But as a casual, as a filthy, dirty casual, I love the real world. Uh, aspect of the environments in Tekken 4. And it is one of... Oh, like I said, it's my favorite Tekken, by far. But it is one of my favorite 3D fighting games. I want to get him with the big swing. Let's see if I can do it. <clears throat> Instead, he's just cut me down. Lee is cool. That, that throw move where he, like, flips over you and then, like, wrenches your neck. <laughs> what a cool move. The purple man with the silver hair. I think Lee is cool. He's one of my favorites. Lee Chowlon, I think his last name is. That's a cool last name. Oh! There's that up against the wall. See what I mean? I've been having really good luck with the environments. But I'm still glad I code broke their health half the way, so... Because this difficulty can be absolutely brutal. I'm having great luck with the roster of fighters that I've been put up against so far. But, oh my gosh, just give me a Yoshimitsu or a, um... Who's the little Chinese girl? Xiao... Xiao Yu? Give me one of them, and they're gonna... Trust me, they're gonna... I'm gonna lose. They're gonna beat me up. That's a cool move, too. Oh, he hooks you with his leg. Yeah, Lee's got style. He ain't the king like King is. He's not my favorite, but he's up there. Continue. King's so cool that I don't even care that I'm not very good with him. Just his design and his moves look awesome. Just fun playing as him. That kick is great. If you can, if you can zone them out and get the right distance. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I need, like, an instant replay on that. You see me duck that kick? That was slick. Anyway, I was saying that, um... If you can zone them out with that kick, even if they guard it, it pushes them back. So, you still keep some advantage, which is cool. Mm. He's on the ropes. Come on. Oh my gosh, the kicks! His never end. Mm. He psyched me out. You lose final round. Fight. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Now I'm, I'm up against the wall. Feeling the pain. Yes! See what I mean about that charge attack I said a couple couple rounds ago? The computer has a really hard time with that. 
That's basically my ace. If I'm on the ropes, or no, trump card, I guess you would say. If I'm on the ropes, I feel like I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna pull out the charged jumping hammer fist move. Come to the water, Jin. Come to the water, Jin. Your kicks will be slower. And my that won't impact my grabs. And I wish that would be cool. That's not actually the case. I'm fine. There's a code breaker code to give everybody glowy fists all the time. I might do a video on that. That might, that might be fun. Yeah, there's a couple cool code breaker codes for this game. Fight. There's a really degenerate one that I don't even want to try, also. I'll just leave that to your imagination, what it could be. <clears throat> oh, it's not over, Jen. His electricity fist moves look awesome. I love him. <clears throat> that... Wow, I thought I was going to grab him from the back when he ran past me like that. Nope. Oh, ouch. Yes! I'm telling you. Use the charged fist against the computer with King. He thought he'd, he thought he'd snipe me out of the air with that little, that little toe poke there. Uh-uh. Toes, as powerful as showing toes is, it is not as powerful as King's charge jumping hammer fist. Round one. Oh, this is another. I keep saying it. This is another cool level. Guess what? All the levels in this game are cool. But I love this. With the, it's like nighttime and there's a helicopter in the background. And we're on top of some like elaborate building. Oh, this grab looks so cool. I want to get him with the Frankensteiner. And I'm not having good luck. And I'm probably going to lose the round if I keep trying to do it. Oh, but you know what? I don't care. I want to hit him with the Frankensteiner. Let's go! Oh my gosh! I landed it, but it didn't do the cool grab. I, I don't know why. Was it my spacing? I'm not sure. I'm just chilling. <laughs> King is just taking a nap. Let's try it again. There we go, finally. That is the Frankensteiner. When I see moves like that, I always think of uh, Sonya Blade from Mortal Kombat, of course, with her famous, like, uh, wrap her legs around your head throw move that she has. That apparently is, according to Tekken, is called a Frankensteiner. The fact that King growls like an animal is so awesome. Push. Paul's cool too. Fight. I like his um flame, uh, flame decal looking boots. Yeah, because Paul's a motorcycle dude. His alternates in the classic games are like a leather motorcycle riding outfit, if I remember correctly. This down and dirty rock sounding music for fighting him is very appropriate too, I think, for his appearance. <clears throat> oh. Whew. Another slick dodge. Look at this, look at this, look at this duck. Oh yeah. You win. Round two. Fight. Mm. Strong man, that Paul. Strong man. You lose. Final round. 
Makes King upset enough to punch the ground, ouch. That is a cool looking grab too. Not as cool as the Frankensteiner I worked so hard to land. Okay, but it's still cool. He's in the wall, or he's at the wall. Let's let's punish him. Or not. He's just gonna make his way out of it. Uh-uh, you go back there. Oh. He got me with the duck. I was gloating earlier about my duck skills and Paul showed me what's up. It's alright, I'll be back. You lose. Nothing like a good workout. Continue. Round one. Fight. Oh! Oh, whiffed! I had the opportunity there to finish it! Oh! That was a pretty cool ending, though. Him punching me up against the wall. I landed. I'm not even mad about it. Fight. Ooh, ooh. Ow. Tell you what, I'm happy I have the 50% uh, handicap because we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Round one. Fight. Another real world location here. Parking deck. You know, you can actually break the um, the pillars in the deck um, if you bash somebody up against them long enough. With the chop to the face. That's a great move. If When you land that chop to the face, they're stunned for a split second, and then if you're fast enough, you can follow up. <clears throat> that double kick. Yeah, that one right there. That is a great move for Paul's. Wow! He just beat the stuffing out of me that round. Good lord. Final round. Fight. Oh, wow. I didn't think I was going to get it there, I'll be honest. Oh. You win. What a fight. Just ignore the fact that I had a 50% handicap, alright? It was still a great fight. <laughs> Round one. Fight. The man that King bailed out of jail so he could... Kill. Marduk. <clears throat> okay, that that looked like I had an opportunity to defend against that, and my timing was just bad. I'm not exactly sure what button you're supposed to hit for that. Oh, darn. I was so close. Oh, that he just slapped me. He literally slapped me out of the air. You lose. Slap! Round two. Fight. <clears throat> Mark's a big boy. He's scary, his physique. King's a big boy too, though. He knows what's up. Your king's like a growling jaguar man, so... I don't think he's scared of somebody that's... I don't know, Marduk, he looks like he's seven feet tall, he's massive. Looks like he weighs 400 pounds. You win. Final round. Fight.
One more hit. Don't choke. Don't choke. Yo. Got him with the shin kick. The ultimate disrespect. Time to become the King of Iron Fist. With a handicap like I've given myself though, I'm, I'm, am I more of like the King of the Wooden Fist or the King of the Foam Fist? <laughs> or the King of the Iron Slap maybe? The King of the Iron Flick? 50% <laughs> handicap, Tyrock the King of the Iron Flick. <laughs> Naked Heihachi's gonna beat me up. Oh, close. That kick is massive, like, the Heihachi, that jumping kick, it like, even if you guard it, it, it like pushes you back. That's really cool. Yeah, that. That's so cool how it stuns you. Love it. Oh! Did not take advantage of stunning him. Now I'm getting beat against the wall. Then it was his turn! Very nice. Yeah, uh, again, I could see that being annoying as a competitive fighting game, dude, but that is not me. I am full-on casual, and I love all the bells and whistles. And a photo finish cinematic appropriate throw. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Better believe it, the king. After the tournament, King donated Mishima Zaibatsu's vast fortune to help the impoverished children of the world. But King still had unfinished business to attend to. Game Sharks. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Cheat episode of Tyrock 2000. Call me the Codebreaker because I put immense effort into coming up with the absolute most creative cheat code combinations possible for my favorite games. I want to hear from you about your favorite games and cheats, so give me a comment. And if you love this episode, give me a like and a subscribe because there is much more where that came from. Thanks, Game Sharks. See you soon.